What's going on everybody? Dave back again and today I have an unboxing of a bundle that I ended up picking up on Amazon. And as you know, I am always fidgeting around improve, trying to improve my picture and my audio. So without further ado, we're going to be taking a look at the Rode Microphones PodMic Dynamic Podcasting Microphone. Along with the Tascam TH02 Studio Headphones. And though I can't get the whole thing in the shot, an H&A broadcast arm with internal springs and integrated XLR cable. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to end up doing this. I think this video is going to be an unboxing of everything that came in the bundle. And so far, I have been pleased. I need to set it all up. I need to test it. And then I will do another video comparing a sound quality of my tried and true, my beloved Audio-Technica AT2020 XLR versus the pod mic. Um, let me get into this right away before I even do the unboxing. One of the reasons that I was looking for a new microphone is I love the Audio-Technica. The problem is it picks up everything. Um, I had to shut down my windows and everything because it was picking up a car that was backing up with a beeper. I don't know how far away. I could barely hear it with my own ears, but the microphone was picking it up when I was monitoring it and doing a test shoot beforehand. So it is really sensitive. It does pick up from all over. And I just, I need a cleaner audio. I just, I just do, especially during the summertime. If I'm running a fan, something else, I don't want you guys to hear it in the video. I don't want to have to edit it out. So without further ado, let's jump down to the table and we're going to take a look at everything that came in this bundle. All right. So here we are down to the table. We're going to take a look at, well, probably what you came here at first to see. This is going to be the Rode pod mic. This is a dynamic podcasting microphone where what I've been using is a, a condenser microphone. So I'll kind of show you guys a close up later on, maybe in a different video if you guys want to see. But once I end up swapping these out, I, I think I'm going to end up sending this microphone to a good friend, uh, Justinius Builds, um, to clean up his uh, clean up his thing. He deserves a lot more subs. I think I'm just going to help him out on there. I have a extra um, board and everything else, so this is going to end up going over to him. Um, not 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 this. Uh, this one up here. I've always been very pleased with how the Audio Technica AT2020 ends up sounding and how it picks up and everything, but we're going to try this out first. If this doesn't work out, it's going back. Sorry, Justin. So I was kind of excited to end up hearing about this. Um, it came out, I want to say it started trickling out beginning of the year and then people didn't actually start getting them and receiving them to review until about February, March. Uh, this is not this isn't as good as, say, a Shure SM7 or SM7B, before I offend anybody. Um, but then again, this is $100. When I got the Audio-Technica A2 2020, I think if I, I could probably pull up my Amazon thing, I probably paid $150, $160 for it. I do have the XLR version, not the USB version. Um, so it was expensive at the time, and that's been what two three years something like that it's been a while that i've been using this microphone and been very very happy with it um so i was kind of questioning now you can end up finding the audio technica for around 100 120 dollars somewhere in there this is supposed to be 99 dollars, but most places that you end up checking it's a little bit more like amazon you find them 115 120 dollars um and that's prime shipped if you end up ordering from like B&H, things like that, it's $99, but then you have to pay the tax and the shipping and that bumps it up probably about another $15 or so. So it ends up still being about $115, $120. This whole bundle that I ended up getting was $125, $129, something like that. And it came with this. It came with the headphones, which I already know are not the greatest. They're not like my um, MX-50s that I use all the time. They're they're comparable to like the gaming headphones that I usually end up reviewing. They're they're not super high quality. Uh, I already know that. I've already looked them up, but it came in the bundle 
and the arm itself is easily worth another $20, $25. So, and it has the built-in XLR cable. That is a, it's worth it in the long run. Um, that's all I have to say on that. So enough rambling, let's take a look. It comes in a, a very simple case. Here you can take a look at the sides, all the information that's on there. And yes, for those wondering, you may get a little wobble in the camera. I completely change around that whole system. Same camera, um, pretty easy. I can do the one shot that you guys got in the very beginning and then flip it down to get this shot over here. But we also have this shot over here. Hi. Yeah, I have the Sony. I moved the Sony over to there for a different view, especially if I'm going to start doing uh, more tutorials and maybe painting videos. It didn't make sense to have it above and or over on the side over here. So I put it right there. All right, on the back, not very much information over here. Product made and designed in Australia. Internal pop filter, broadcast quality, rugged build, two-year warranty. And I can tell you, this is going to be a very rugged, uh, rugged, piece of equipment sliding off the outer shell you end up getting the internal box then you end up opening it this is pretty like no frills packaging like there's no bells there's no whistles there's no little bag there's there's really not anything there's there's this this microphone you could beat someone with it like it weighs, I've already seen the specs on it. It weighs uh, 2.25 pounds, something like that. Uh, it's heavier than the Shure mic. It's heavier than, the only thing I'd pro I'm assuming that's probably not heavier than is than uh, the, the Yeti microphone because that thing is just, it's heavy. And most of that is all the bass. So no frills, but it does look very nice. And it is very small. Um, it's probably uh, mm, a little more than half the size of the AT2020. And what I was wiping off here, this is not, it's not any flaws from the manufacturer. It's not anything. It's, if I had, if I had one recommendation, um, at, stick this in a, in a plastic bag or s something to go in here. Um, I have received a lot of things from road and everything has always been very well packed. Uh, this, I don't know if because of the $99 value that they were trying to cut corners for a better term. I don't want to use that term. Um, but there's no, there's no anything. So it's literally just rubbing against this cardboard during the whole shipping time. It's secure, but you end up and it's, it's not scuffed. You just have this white that I'm going to have to wipe down with a damp cloth. Uh, from the cardboard uh, you get some Zorb don't don't eat this crap uh, nothing else in the box you get a simple little quick start guide taking a look at the quick start guide well that's pretty simple um, adjust the arm adjust the bracket attach it to the arm plug in the cable plug the cable into the mixer and sing like an angel um, so I have heard different things about this Right now on this microphone, I have a, I have a FET head, and then I also have it plugged into a, a Scarlet 2i2. So the reason that I have the FET head on there, one, this has to have phantom power to work. This one supposedly doesn't, but I've heard that if you don't run phantom power to it, um, you have to turn up the gain so much that you can start to get some background noise in there. And I don't want that. So I will probably run the, the Phantom Power and the Fet Head because that's what I'm used to. Um, that way I can keep the gain down, keep the clean sound, but keep the power up. Taking a look at the microphone at this way, this is going to be the end that you end up speaking into. Um, it seems really well built. You have the Rode logo right here. You have, I'm not sure what this is. I'm going to assume it's some sort of proprietary locking screw to lock the diaphragm into place. You do get two knobs on each side with their typical gold accents. Um, no cover on there. And if those are brass or if it's a coating, it scratches pretty easily. That's typical Rode with their little gold accents. Um, these seem to adjust pretty well. 
you can adjust the arm pretty much any direction except for the XLR cable is going to plug into here so you'll only be able to do like maybe at that angle if you're angling it down or up you won't be able to have it straight on but that's perfectly fine uh, I'll probably have it mounted like this and it will probably look more professional than the ball sack though uh, I will probably put a windscreen over it because I've also heard that um, it has a built-in windscreen but it's not it's not the best so once you end up getting that into place just tighten down your knobs uh, what is nice is on here it has it integrated there's no screw in screw out I, I don't know if you can or not but there's no integrated screw in screw out uh, you have the quarter inch and then the three quarter. I think that's three quarter. So this part can plug into a regular mic stand. And then this is designed for plugging into like your boom arm like I'm using on the other one. All right, enough on this guy. Let's move over to the headset. And I'm sure that this is glary as hell, but it is what it is because I have a bunch of lights on right now. So this is the TH02 Studio Headphones. These are by Tascam. Uh, I may pass these along to Justin as well. I will ask him if he wants them. So as usual, there is your information on the back. I think when I ended up looking these up on Amazon, they were like 25, 30 bucks, something like that. And I think I have a couple of Tascam st like stuff, but I can't think of anything offhand. So it does have an instruction booklet. We're not gonna get into all that because it's a headphone. All right, I'm not gonna unbundle everything right here. You have the cable here, you have your regular 3.5, and then you have your quarter inch. So this can be plugged into your mixer, uh, your computer, into your gaming rig, into whatever. The foam cups on here feel pretty sturdy. Um, this part's pretty soft. I have heard that you can pull these cups off and replace them with um, memory foam. I would probably suggest to do that. Trying them on, they do fit. They are not the, they're not the most comfortable. Like I'll just, I'll be flat out honest. They're not the most comfortable. Um, the top of my ear hits up here. The bottom of my ear, I kind of have to tuck in because it hits there. Maybe with bigger cups, but these are not the most comfortable. So. If Justin doesn't want these, then I'll just have a giveaway and I will give them away to somebody. But there's Tascam logo up there. They do seem pretty flexible. I don't think there is a shred other than the screws on here of metal. Um, you do get the nice fold back so you could have them on and have the cups facing toward you for safety. Um, does adjust up and down. Again, if I'm honest, most of the gaming headsets that I end up reviewing, which another one is on the way, um, they, uh, they're actually better quality. Like this is all plastic. I, I don't know. I probably would not recommend, um, I, I probably wouldn't recommend these if you're just flat out buying them. If you're buying them in the bundle, that's probably perfectly fine. I would go ahead and do that. Um, because I think the mics, I think the stand itself, it makes it worth the the price hike if you're already paying 120 um, shipped for the microphone another five dollars or ten dollars for the stand with the XLR cable won't really make a difference last but not least is the HNA broadcast arm uh, I think when I look this up it's probably about 25 30 dollars by itself Now I can tell you that the XLR cables that are in here are probably not the highest quality. Um, I will probably swap out, or I may just send this one with Justin. I, I don't know how I'm going to end up doing that. I may keep, uh, well, I know I'm keeping the arm that I have because it's uh, it's actually a Rode, uh, was it NT1, whatever it is, the $109 freaking Rode microphone arm, um, which if I haven't mentioned already, I have to shill. There will be links to all of this uh, that I'm talking about down below. Um, I don't make money here on YouTube. I make money by you guys clicking those links and I do appreciate you guys clicking those links. So thanks. Except for right now with the whole uh, thing, we're not gonna name it, but with the whole thing going on, um, 
commissions have gotten dropped down for sales down to um, all, very, very, very little. So what used to do very well doesn't, but it's okay. Um, okay, so the arm bracket that's on here, it's not. It's definitely not as good as the Rhodes. Uh, the road has phenomenal mounting bracket. I do have another one of these that was actually sent to me for a review. Um, so I'll do a review on it in a couple of days. Um, it's from a different company and it has a pop filter and a whole bunch of other stuff. And it's about $19. I'll do a review on that later. Um, you do end up getting, I'm not going to take it out here. You do get a crinkly bag. Uh, that has a microphone um, holder in here to attach to it. And this is for your standard, like your handheld microphones. We're not going to end up using that. This I'm only going to use for the demonstration purposes when I set this up for giving you guys a sound test. Getting this out of the bag and everything, I can already tell you this is basically a copycat other than the I'm looking at you can't see me but I'm looking at the road um, mic arm and this is pretty much an exact copycat other than this has Phillips head screws and it has um, flat head screws um, but it is pretty much a copycat I know the road one is a little more heavy duty I can tell you that the inside of the road one has more um, more stability and everything in here. The cable on here, uh, I don't know how long this is. It's probably about six foot on this side. And then this is the side that plugs in the microphone. The knobs on the road one are metal where this one is plastic. It's it's China. It's plastic. So, and then this is what's going to plug into your microphone. Now, here's what's interesting. My other one, my road one, has the narrow uh, quarter inch screwing where this has the bigger, like a regular microphone stand. I find that kind of interesting. Also kind of find it interesting that looking at the threading inside of here, what screws into here onto here is really narrow. It's really shallow versus the other one that's really deep. So I don't know if they were just conserving space. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, I'm not going to pop this open because when I do, it's just going to go bring. Um, but what I'm going to do is I am going to close out this video. So far, I, I honestly think this bundle at 125, 129 is great if you're wanting to get the microphone. If you're needing a microphone and the arm. Um, if you're just needing... I wouldn't even consider it for the headset. Uh, the headset, I haven't even listened to it. It may sound fine, but it's just not, uh, it's not comfortable for me. And it feels cheaply made. It, I'm just going to be honest with you on that. I always try to be honest with you guys in my reviews. Uh, it just feels cheap. This, it feels, it feels sturdy. If you compare this to the $15, $20, something like that, uh, this is the newer... Um, I have like eight of these sitting around in here, um, but this is the newer microphone stand arm. And see, this is what I was talking about. I was hoping that it had this to go into there, but this is the newer microphone stand. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've shot one of these springs across the freaking room and scared the crap out of myself. Also, this is also very noisy with the springs. Like if you're having to move it at all. It's going to vibrate all the way through where I can move this around. Like you can probably see because I'm shaking the microphone. I am literally moving the microphone all the way around and you get no sound coming from the microphone traveling through the arm. Um, I do like that fact. So, uh, yeah, it is definitely like with where pricing is now from where I started. Uh, this is fine for lights, but this is better. So I'm going to close out this video. I know I've said that several times. I'm closing it out. 
Um, as usual, links will be down below to be able to check out this bundle. Also check out some of my recommendations on headsets and other gear. Again, 20, uh, 125 uh, to 129 if you're looking to get uh, a full bundle. Like you can just plug this into here, plug it into a mixer and go. You're good to go. Um, if you already have an arm, if you already have a cable, you're just looking for this and you can get it at the retail price of 99. Um, just get the, just get the microphone. That's it in this video, guys. I'm going to set this all up. I'm going to make another video where, uh, I'm comparing the sound between the Audio Technica A2020 and the Rode PodMic. Peace out, YouTube.